What if someone revealed to you, almost in a whisper, that there are three specific colors? Are there stones capable of revealing the presence of gold and even diamonds, and that you've probably stepped on them without noticing? It's the kind of rare information that makes any observant explorer raise an eyebrow, because very few people know that certain shades act as signals sent by the Earth itself, as if it were giving discreet clues before revealing the treasure. And of course, whoever understands this natural code always has an advantage. They look for color. In geology, certain minerals tint rocks in very specific ways, as if they were discreetly signing their own presence. Yellowish soils from iron oxide, greenish tones from copper minerals, dense dark spots from magnetite. All of this is usually a sign of gold-bearing areas. And when I find bluish or grayish hues, I immediately think of kimberlites, those deep rocks that can carry diamonds. It's as if the earth leaves small colored clues before showing the final prize, and I've learned to respect these signs. I look at the colors of the stones. This simple phrase marks the moment when you stop walking like anyone else and start walking like a conscious explorer, someone who sees where others merely pass by. Comment below. I look at the colors of the stones. This simple gesture connects you to other people who are also training their observation skills, transforming curiosity into practice, and creating a network of explorers who share discoveries and learnings.